Hello everyone, this is Hassan and welcome to our Scratch game programming tutorial. So this is our 13th lecture and in this lecture we will be learning um, developing a maze game. So to develop a maze game first thing obviously you need a maze. So you can either um, go to paint new sprite and draw a maze or you can upload sprite from uh, file so what I can do uh, I can search maze and I go to images and I click on here I see there is a good one so view the image and then I can save the image and the file name is maze1 because I already have a file name maze so save this the file name is maze1 I go to on title 26 and from here I can get the maze one. So, so from here, so the name of our game is Cat in a Maze. Okay. So from here I can see uh, I can actually grow the maze a little more. Okay, now it's good. So it fits. Okay, now I want to change the background. Let's choose a background which is Dolly. Okay, so now I have a background, and on top of it, I have a small uh, maze. So, what I want, I want my cat to start from this position and then it will go all the way to here but I want to add something more I don't want my cat to touch any of these black lines if my cat touches the black lines it will come back to the starting point that is my target okay so let's get it started so I have my cat but I don't see my cat why I don't see my cat first uh, let's give it a name cat And this is maze one. So I have two sprites. One is cat, and another one is maze one. All right. So I want my cat to start from this position. So uh, let's go on sprites. So right now my cat is what? It is go to x four and y hundred and four. So one more thing you need to know. If I go to looks. I see there is an option called go to front remember when you add so now this is layers right so we have cat in one layer the maze is in another layer okay it's like a stack it's like one plate then there is another plate so if you don't say go to front that means my cat is under the maze so that's why I'm using the block go to front so I am going to say that when game starts, go to front. I'm saying this to my cat. So now let's see what happens. Now I can see my cat, right? So when flag click, I want to go to front. But now the cat, you can see it's big. So obviously I need to shrink it. So still I think it's bigger. Now I think. Remember, I need to um, design the shrink the cat in a way so that it can perfectly walk. So now I can see it fits. It's not touching the black line because remember, when you're walking, you don't want the cat to touch the black line. Right? So you have to be careful. So you're going to start from this location, and then I can see it's not. If I'm moving, it's not touching the black line. If you are careful, you will not touch the black line. So that's my purpose. So leave the cat here and let's set the position. So from the position, I can see the position is go to x4 and y60, negative 163. So if I click, I see the cat starts from here. Next thing, um, I want to control my cat. So remember how to control the cat uh, under events. So in space, I need four of them. Right? I can go left, right, up, and down. So I need four, then I change it. So one is for up, 
one is down one is right and one is left okay so if I go up what is the change remember changing uh, going up or down is change of y so change of y but from 10 let's change it remember I don't want it to move uh, I, I want it to make small steps when you press up arrow it should move by a little because if you are not if you're moving like 10 steps you might touch the black line so let's use 4 and see what happens if up arrow is pressed let's see it's going up slowly right so that's what I want very good okay down arrow now obviously it will be change of y again but this time obviously it's negative so negative 4 and then so up down is down the right arrow so right means right or left sideway movement is x so change of x 4 because I'm using 4 everywhere change of x 4 okay now let's see so it's starting from here and I can see it's moving very good Remember, I don't want it to touch the black line. So you can grow the cat a bit to make it more challenging. Oh, okay, I forgot something. I guess the left arrow should be negative 4. It's always a good idea to check. Don't write all the codes. So when you write some codes, always check. Otherwise, um, if you do a lot of modifications, it will be hard to find the problem. Right? okay now I see my cat is moving okay next thing I want to say that um, if, if we touch the black line something will happen right so if touching if touching right so we need if block and remember if block we need forever two and if touching color so we're gonna use this block so how can we change the color so on in this color if I click the color I see the hand option so when you have the hand option you go and touch the black and you see this is black okay so when the game starts if I touch the black I want to do what I want to go to the starting point so it doesn't matter where you go if you go here at this point and you are touching the black line you'll come back here so we need to warn the player that you cannot touch the black line. So that's a that's a challenge for this game. So what is our position? The position is go to x4 and y negative 163. So let's change it. So go to what? 4 and negative 163. So now, now let's see if it's working or not. So if I touch the black line, I can see it goes back. Every time I touch black, it goes back. So now it's working it's fine. All right, so I think you understand how the maze will be working, but we want to add some more details but in the next lecture. So what we have done is that we, we used a maze so we downloaded a maze and then used it in our game but next time we will have a customized maze too all right so i think you understand everything and in the next lecture we'll finish uh, this game all right everyone bye for today